Hello, this is Haku Dubin, and today we're going to be reading SCP-478, also known as T the Etude Fairies. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Before we get into this, I do have a warning. Tooth Fairies have a lot of um, body horror related to them. As far as I can remember from, from what I heard from a video. So if you don't like teeth being where teeth should never be, please click off the video. If you're okay with that, then please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I've never SCP-478. Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-478 are to be surgically removed whole from victims before death. After recovery, they are to be kept in a specialized vacuum-sealed lockers within Biosite 66. Oh, that's annoying. My browser just froze. That works better. Instances of SCP-248, of 478, where am I getting these numbers? Do not seem to be able to pass through solid matter, and thus may be held indefinitely unless damaged. Mildly affected victims may be treated in a almost a billion medical establishment by foundation surgeons under the guise of orthodontic surgery. General sedation is to be administered as per normal surgery. Severely affected victims of SCP-478 are to be recovered by the nearest foundation establishment and subsequently moved to Biosite 16 for study. Because of SCP-478's unique structure, infected individuals are not to be terminated prematurely. Victims deemed capable of full recovery may be treated for infection and release as above. Survivors are to be administered a class B amnestic and false members are to be planted. Victims deemed unsalvageable may be terminated. Description SCP-478 are small entities of inconsistent in size and shape that resemble a darkly colored or the butterfly or moth in flight. Wild instances have been encountered a number of times, so their elusive nature makes capture difficult. Extracted instances instances of SCP-478 do not seem to need to eat, sleep, breathe, or breed. After some testing with the captured instances, it is understood that SCP-478 are somewhat predatory and normally prey exclusively on humans under the age of 25. Furthermore, SCP-478 most often seeks out individuals who have yet, not yet shed all of their deciduous teeth. Does that mean you are actually supposed to be losing teeth until 25? That doesn't seem right. SCP-478 will enter a victim's mouth while they asleep and attach onto the soft palate in the upper nasal cavity, usually blocking one nostril. The body's mucus production will increase, leading the victim upon waking to believe that they have developed a minor cold. Hmm, weird. I think I have those same symptoms. I feel a little bit sicky. Not that much. From there, the victim's palate will begin to generate teeth in addition to the gymvas, gums, normal or replacement end of teeth. This growth process will begin at a rate several times faster than a normal tooth growth and quickly increases in speed and severity. The palate generation of new teeth will continue until the entire her palate has been covered, proceeding down the victim's throat and esophagus. Over the course of two to four days, these teeth will completely saturate the stomach lining, then begin growing within the lungs and the subcutaneous layer of skin. Skeletal calcium will be leached away to provide material for the new teeth, an increasingly painful process. This growth will continue until their entire digestive tract 
has been saturated by dental tissue. After which, SCP-478 will exit the victim's mouth and flee. Teeth within the stomach are exposed to the body's normal acidic production, while teeth within the skin will group closely together, forming rigid masses of dental material underneath the surface. All teeth are normal beyond placement, containing a root, nerve, and enamel. It is unknown exactly how or why SCP-478 causes this explosive new growth of dental tissue. Addendum Historical Note Documentation re recovered from Foundation Raid aids on the dental laboratory of Dr. Rasmin and, and Yelkov implicate SCP-478 as a primary source of the phenomenon observed in SCP-1994. Investigation into Dr. Yelkov's ability to communicate and capture instances of SCP-478 is ongoing. We'll find out what's going on in SCP-1994 another time. That is not this document. This document is SCP-478. And if you uh, liked this video somehow, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I'm almost sure that it won't have anything to do with teeth growing in places where they shouldn't be. So until then, goodbye!